what's up everybody welcome to my youtube channel once again dash lifestyle youtube channel it is a beautiful day uh, welcome to another vlog if you are new to the channel kindly remember to subscribe like share and also comment so guys i'm coming live from a different place as, as you can see my background this is a farm and uh, yes guys i'm not in the village i'm back home yes guys i left ayamwara village right now i'm in eldoret that is, this is my hometown and i have arrived safe i came here today and i have arrived safe that's why i have decided to shoot this video and to tell you exactly why i left ayamwara party or ayamwara villa yes guys so it is in the it is the evening uh, the sun it is going down let me show you so you can see the sun it is going down here it is not raining but in the village it was raining uh, that it is some of the that it is uh, i've come to notice that in Yabuanzi village it is raining but here in my hometown eldoret it is not raining guys and you know this is this eldoret here it is the fifth uh, it's it's going to be the fifth city uh, here in Kenya, so they are making some arrangement. Sorry, guys, they are making some arrangement so that uh, to to make it public to be a fifth city in Kenya. Yes, guys. So, guys, uh, this uh, this reason why I left uh, Marwa Pari. One of the reason, guys, I came here. That's uh, to check if my house it is okay you know it, it has been uh, three weeks uh, almost going to a month without coming and see my place and also my mom she was sick and uh, that is uh, the reason number two i came to check on her because i received a call that uh, my mom she is sick she was admitted in the hospital but right now she's at home and i will be going there tomorrow to see her you know i don't stay exactly in, in where my mom lives i have rented another house yeah, somewhere else uh, not far away from my mom where my mom she lives but uh, it is not a long distance maybe tomorrow i will go there and uh, to check on her so this is that is the reason number two and uh, the reason number one i've already told you that uh, i've come to check if my house it is okay and uh, also at least uh, i want to pay it uh to pay you know here we pay rent so i i usually pay three thousand six hundred uh kenya shillings per month yes guys i've rented i don't have i've not yet constructed my house so i'm renting so that it is the reason, uh, the two major reasons why I left Ayamaro Villa. And uh, yes guys, so I've come and checked my house, it is okay. But uh, one thing that it has remained is to go tomorrow and see, to check uh, my mom if she is recovering or if she is still, she is, uh, if she is doing well. Yes guys. So... Another thing uh, why I left I am Marwa Pari, uh, I think that it is the major reason. I don't have any other reason, but uh, I just want to tell you what really happened at night. Yes, guys. So let me just go there because I can see there's some uh, people, uh, there's some boys playing football. So let me go the other side and uh, talk to you. Yes, welcome guys once again. So as you can see, let me just show you with my front camera. You can see this is the field here. And uh, boys, uh, they are uh, practicing. Uh, uh, they are doing some practice. They are playing football. You can see this is the field here in this place here. It is called Horuma. And we have uh, like uh, three fields. There is one here. Another one it is up. And we have the bigger one. It is over there. So during a uh, weekend, uh, people gathered here and uh, to play different uh, 
different uh, street meaning say like uh, we have Ruma, Ruma street we have Mwenderi, we have Shauri these are the names of the places here so during the weekend you will find uh, in that bigger there's a bigger field there they usually come to compete each other yes guys so that's why you can see right now they are doing some practices yes guys so I was to tell you what it is really happening in Yabohansi village and also I was to tell you the what uh, happened last night yes guys so last night we had uh, competition uh, we had singing competition we have for uh, those who are people who have uh, strong muscle I don't know which type of that uh, game it is you take you the, the, the two people they will compete to see who, are, who is strong enough by using their hand so that game i hope you guys you you are you know that type of game and also the rap uh not rap uh singing mimicking mimic yes guys there is someone who was mimicking uh, how Marwa uh, usually record his video and that it is Halo Baby. He was mimicking about Marwa. Uh, you know Halo Baby he has seen Marwa recording his video for a long time. So even uh, mimic yesterday by telling us how Marwa usually uh, record his video. Uh, he, uh, well he, well he, why, uh, when he was recording and also when he does not recording if you haven't checked that video kindly please go to the live stream of Finding Ian you will see what really happened yesterday in Ayamarwa uh, night party yes guys and also another thing what happened uh, it was uh, those two yes guys it was uh, this type where they did it was supposed to be three competition but uh, they did two and uh, the remaining they will be doing it today so uh, each competition the winner he was he was getting uh, 3,000 Kenya shillings for each and every competition so today it is the the game the competition of today it is uh, singing uh, karaoke and also dancing so dance competition it is back again so the dancing it will be today and also singing yes guys and also another thing what it is happening there in the village i tell it is about uh, on saturdays uh today it is on thursday and uh on saturday we have a special guest and uh, we have a singer from uk from netherlands not uk sorry guys from netherlands so we have a new lady uh, from Netherlands, uh, she's a singer. Uh, she came yesterday. Uh, she will be singing for us uh, on Saturday. So you guys don't forget to see the live stream of Saturday. Yes, guys. So for me, I'll be going there. God willingly, I'll be going there on Monday because I just want to go and uh, look some uh, little cash so that I can be able to pay my rent. And then after that. Uh, I will go back uh, in Yabuansi village on Monday. So maybe on Monday you will see me there in the village. Uh, you know guys, we have only remained with, let me just say one week. We have remained with one week. So I'll be going there. Uh, at least, you know, I work there as a entertainment. I'm also a DJ. I work there as a DJ. So I talk with Maro and... Uh, I will not be there uh, maybe in three days but I will be going there on Monday God willing Ling, if I get the transport I will go there on Monday yes guys so uh, don't uh, I hope uh, for those people who have always giving I have always given them the update the quick update and also I'll be sure I was showing you guys what is really happening there in the village for now I will be showing you my hometown uh, for these uh, three days and then maybe on Monday when I will be back in the village I will continue uh, informing you telling you what it is really happening in the village so guys uh, I've already tell you uh, the reason why I came back home so another thing it is about uh, it is about uh, Amaro he, he, he said that uh, on 
Wednesday the party it is, it is going to be free each and every Wednesday um, not each and every Wednesday because you have remained with one week so this coming Wednesday the party it is free no need of paying and also it will on Saturday it will be free during the night yes guys during the night they will not charge there is no entry so it will be free yes guys for those who people who they usually go and sleep early no don't go because we have a musician from netherland yes guys she will be performing for us i don't want to reveal her name because uh, you guys uh, let it be special let it be special and uh, you will see her on the stage ayamarwa also they will be performing with rocio i was forgetting they will be performing with rocio in one stage yes guys and also ayamarwa will be there and you know ayamarwa is a dancer somehow a dancer so he'll be there singing and uh, cheering yes guys the party on saturday the party will be lit yes guys the party will be lit so don't for, don't uh, don't uh, don't sleep early or don't not don't sleep early because the time you are the time uh, it depends with where you are watching me from but uh, don't uh, don't skip to live stream on saturday yes guys so uh, that it is some of the things that uh, it was happening there in age and also they will be doing a road show yes guys they will be doing a road show for to hype the party yes guys so i think my phone storage it is full let me just uh, delete some files then i will come back yes guys and also guys uh, there is a story going around about clay bath uh, some people they are saying uh, the clay bath it is not safe or it is not good for the people but uh, yes guys right now the clay bath it is under construction i've done a video showing you what it is really happening in the clay bath so go and check that video and also the some video where i post yesterday uh when ayamarwa is crit is uh digging some of the is digging a, a trench i don't know if it is a trench he wants to you know this uh sewage sewa, sewage line so he don't want the sewage line to be near the house so he's uh moving it to where it is uh, near the fish pond yes guys so if you haven't checked that video go and check my previous video you will see that video and i even explain what is really happening you know some people they think that uh, ayamaro house maybe it is going to fold maybe uh, he built that house uh, where there is more there is, there is uh, a lot of water and some people are worrying about that house to sink no that house cannot sink uh, that house it is very strong and uh, if you want to see the foundation of that video you can go back to the previous video of Ayamarwa where he was starting his construction you will see how they did that construct construction so there's no uh, that house it, it that house it is very strong he did a very 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 uh, expensive foundation and also they ensure everything they use maybe in the cement everything they use well yes guys so the foundation of the house don't worry about the house uh some people they're worrying maybe that house one day it, it will be sink because of water no we know ayamaro house uh where he built his house there is a lot of water and uh that doesn't mean that house it will come to sink no the house it is very strong and it is very large hey that house it is very it is very huge it, it is like a mall you guys you know you some people you guys some people they see it on uh, maybe on a tv or maybe on their phone they think it is small no that house is very big the only problem it is uh, in the roof uh, there is water getting inside the house but ayamaro is planning to put a terrazzo yes guys is going to put a terrazzo on the top of the roof so that uh, when it rains the water it doesn't enter uh, inside the house the water it will be going outside yes guys it is uh we will do a water a terrazzo waterproof yes guys so the, that it is the only thing that it has remaining and also uh the solar after that we will be installing the solar system because the electricity even today i left the village without electricity since i entered that village one day i didn't use any electricity you can imagine guys and i've stayed there for almost 
a month yes guys i've just remaining with this uh, uh with some a few uh today it is on today it is on thursday i've remained with uh four days to make it a uh, one a month yes guys you can see because i went there early and uh, uh, electricity uh, transformer it got uh, some problem at the day but uh, they didn't fix it and also you can see even today i've shaved yes guys today uh, the first thing here i came i shaved you can see how do i look you can rate it and there is a guy who was saying that uh, maybe i should do a video while removing my cape why do you think guys i should should i remove my cape or i'm i'm okay like this so maybe i will do a video but guys i think i'm okay maybe i will do a, a video while i don't have this my cape but i also am promoting my brother here locks concept you can see this cape came all the way from united states to here in africa yes guys let me promote my brother here locks concept you know my Yugno is the one who bring this cape to the village he was sent uh, the owner sent from united states to the village so that's why you will see me uh using this cape maybe like each and every video because amaro told us at least to to market and to support uh locks concept if you haven't subscribed to his youtube channel go and subscribe to locks concept youtube channel yes guys so it's somehow getting cold because the sun it has disappeared and also right now it is uh around 6 yes it is around 6 pm so uh that it is what it is really happening in a marwa villa yes guys i've already told you on wednesday it's going to be free each and every wednesday it's going to be free and you people maybe you will ask what will happen after the party so the things that are uh, it will be happening after the party is maybe i'll do that as a video on my next uh, coming video because right now we are focusing on the party so uh, let me just not give you the hints what will be happen after the party and uh, yes guys you'll need to see uh, let me just not go there not let me not give you a hint but uh, that it will come as a video so if you have not yet subscribed kindly support me by subscribing also uh, watch my video till the end and also don't skip my ass because that's how i get my something uh to eat or to travel yes guys so kindly subscribe support me like the video share and also comment wherever you are watching me uh, you can comment down below and also thank you to my fans who are watching me from united kingdom london i see you each and uh, my, on my comment yes guys maybe i will start to give a shout out in each and every video i'll be giving a shout out to oh, my loyal fans the top three or top top five my loyal fans i'll be writing your name somewhere so when i was starting recording my video i will giving you a shout out if you want but if you don't want me to mention your name it is okay there's no problem i will give you it uh privacy yes guys so i just want to start my journey to go home by the way this this is a school here it is a government school it is called atnas kandie yes guys it is a school here but you know right now uh, uh there's no school they close school because of the festive season here in kenya we close early uh, like um, like uh, right now it is like uh, two weeks uh, since the school was closed so right now the children are at home others they have started to go and enjoy their christmas with their grandpa grandpa or grandma in their in their reserves no here in in urban area we call it rural is it rural urban areas we call it a uh, reserve yes guys so that's why you can see there's no there's no one here and also right now it is late it is uh six around 6 p.m yes guys and also it uh, when i was in tanzania guys i have not told you story when i was in tanzania uh it shocked me because the their school wasn't closed people they were going to the school uh, but here in home they are already closed the the school you can see we have some differences in terms of uh, 
education because here we do 844 system maybe in uganda they have their own uh, education system but here in kenya it is 844 for now but uh, the government wants to change so 844 means uh, you study in primary school you study for eight years and then after finishing primary you go to the uh, high school for four years then after finishing your high school you go to the university or campus for four years that it is 844 yeah in university it depends with the course that you want maybe for the doctors they go up to six or seven uh yes yes guys but uh for the these uh other things maybe you'll go for four years after that you will get a job yes guys but for me i wasn't lucky to go to the university uh for me after high school yeah i don't want to go there but uh, this is our educational system here in Kenya. I don't know for Uganda. For Uganda, maybe when I will be back there in the village, uh, there's some um, Ugandans. I will ask them about their education system, uh, how the system, how they operate uh, there in Uganda. But uh, I have uh, I have friends like Obatan, Raj254, Harriet, Anabo. You have seen me doing the video with Harriet and Abu. Yes guys, so maybe when I will be going there, I will ask them. Yes. And also the part it is going to be lit for this remaining one week. Yes guys, for the remaining one week there will be competition each and every day and also some, now the part it is like it is starting. Some of the visitors they have already uh, preserved by international visitors, VVIP. They have already preserved even uh it was yesterday maro was telling us there's some more visitors coming so we have only remained with one week and this one week it is like the party it is starting yes guys we have a school here so, not a school we have a hospital this is the hospital here that serve this uh, uh this area you can see this is the hospital it is called huruma hospital so it served the people of this estate here. You know I'm in Roma estate. Yes, guys. And also over there we have the big company. It is called Ripley. They deal with wood. Anything with wood, house furniture, maybe beds, mattress, uh, books, uh, matchstick. This is the company which produce uh, it from here in Eldoret. Yes, guys. So maybe I will be ending this video here subscribe if you haven't like the video share and also comment